In our last episode, we had sanded the fins and we had glued up the engine mount. And in this one, I'm going to start assembling the rocket right after this short announcement. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. We're assembling the Vipox rocket and we're ready to start putting the fins on and also the engine mount in. I'm gonna put the engine mount in first, but before that I do that, I'm gonna mark the tube for where the fins go because it's a little easier to do that. Um, and I'm using the Estes fin alignment jig or fin marking jig. Um, and it's this thing here and you just put the tube on top and then you mark it for the fin locations. Now this is a three fin rocket, so I'm gonna mark it here for one fin there, one fin right here, and another one right here. And now on the opposite side of this one, this is where I'm gonna put the launch lug. So I'm gonna mark it for the launch lug, and then right on the tube, I'm gonna put LL for launch lug. And then I wanna draw lines up on the tube and for that I'm using an aluminum angle. You can use a door frame but I like the angle because it's a little easier to use. And then just put that on the mark and draw your line up. And it goes fast. And you always want to use pencil for this because when you go to paint your rocket if you use ink the solvents in the paint will dissolve the ink and then the ink will float up to the top of the surface of the rocket kind of ruining the finish. So always use a pencil when doing this. Okay, so I have my lines on there. And now we need to glue this into here. And this shot cord kind of gets in the way, so what we should probably always do is take the end of it and feed it back through the inside of the tube so that it comes out the back. So now I can stick it in in that Shock cord doesn't get in the way. Now I wish I had a dowel here. I don't. So I'll have to use the end of my hobby knife. Just be careful. You might want to pull the blade out. Um, and we're going to spread glue inside the tube. And I want this tube to extend out the rear of the rocket a little bit. And remember, that's just so I can tilt this upwards so I can slide the engine in. So it's the plans call for three eighths of an inch. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, again, the purpose is so that you can put the rocket engine inside the, the tube when it's that time. So what I do is I put glue on the end of a dowel and keep it rotating so that it doesn't drop onto your table like over here. Um, and then put it into the right depth and smooth it around. Okay. And now this other glue I'm just going to stick here. Um, so I'll start putting it in like this. But it's not all the way in. It's not into that glue yet. Um, and the reason I do that is so I can put more glue on the inside of here. So that front ring doesn't push all the glue down to the front. And that's what I want. Um, so you can see I, I tilt the tube off to one side and then move the tube around. Keep tilting it into a different angle. Now I'm getting glue on the outside of the tube, but that's okay. I'm going to wipe that off. So when you get it all the way around, I want the glue on the inside of the tube, not on the outside. You can wipe that off. All right, and then um, I'm going to rotate it around so that the launch, uh, the engine hook is on the opposite side, or on the same side as the launch lug. So here's my launch lug line, here's the sh engine hook, and that's where I'm going to push it in. Okay, so it's going to be glued right there. And this is going to take a minute or two to start setting up, so just be careful, don't move it around. Um, to put the fins on, I'm going to use the Apogee fin alignment jig, and this one is for 24 millimeter tube, which is what this is, and for three 1 8 inch thick fins. Now my fins are not 1 8 inch, they're 3 32 which is just a smidge smaller 
than one eighth. And I'm missing a fin here. Oh, here it is. Um, so, and I've showed you this in a different video. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to shim it up using some cardboard or some cardstock. So this is um, some just some thick, thick paper. Um, you're going to stick it inside the rocket like this. And then you're going to take the shims, which are the paper, and you're going to put it on either side of the slot once you put the fin in there. And this allows you to use this jig when you have thinner wood. So I want to make sure I put equal amount of paper on both sides. And it's a little bit tight, so I'm going to take off a sheet from each side. Like that. And now it's a little loose, so I'm going to use some thinner paper, and this is just, you know, lined paper. And I'll put one on each side. Just experiment until you get it right. Okay, so that that's pretty good. It's not wobbling around so much anymore. All right, so now that I know how much of the shim I need to, to use, so I have those ready. I'm going to take my wood glue. And I'm going to put a thin layer of glue on that, the root edge of the fin. And I'm going to smear it to make it a nice even film. And any of that's on the sides, I want to wipe off. Okay. Now, so here's the back end of the tube. And this is going to be a fin line right there. So you can see my fin line right here. And that's where I want to put this. Now before I push it down to the tube and get everything all glued up, I'm going to put my shims in on the side. Keep the shims away from the root of the of the fin, just so that they don't get glued on them. So here's the bottom edge of the fin. I want to just push them that way a little bit. Okay, so then my tube moved. Okay, and then find where it's going to go, right there. And then I'm pushing down. And this is a long fin, so I have to be careful that the front edge is also in line there. And any glue that oozes out, I'm going to wipe it off. I'll put fillets on later, but I don't want any globs right now. So on this particular kit, the edge of the fin is even with the edge of the tube. So everything's good there. Um, I need to cut some more shims because um, I need two fat ones and two skinny ones for each fin. Okay, got my shims ready. All right, so now it's just gluing up the next fin. So as before, put some glue on there and smear it on the edge. The reason I like these uh, Apogee fin alignment jigs is I can do all three fins at the same time. Nice, okay. 
And at this point, I just line it on the edge of the tube. Like that. Okay, see how easy that is? That's going to work great. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do the other fin, and then we're going to let it dry. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll put a fillet of glue along that root edge. So I'll be right back after I get these on and everything is dried. The glue is dry on the fins, so I can take off my fin alignment jig and pull out all these shims first. Okay, and I'm going to take the shock cord, pass it back through. Don't need it out the back anymore. Just have to get it past that engine block. There we go. All right. I'm just going to stuff it inside because otherwise it's going to get everywhere. Okay, so we're ready for the uh, fillets. Um, I'm also going to glue the launch lug on, and I need to find out where it goes on my plan. And it's here at 3 and 7 eighths of an inch. Um, I'm going to put an extra one on. It doesn't hurt to have it on. Um, basically, where does this little launch lug go? Well, the answer is that it's got to go at the center of gravity or a little bit before. Um, when you put two on, you want to span the center of gravity. So that makes it a little easier. Um, so I'm going to, instead of going three and seven eighths, I'm going to go um, six inches because I'm going to use two launch lugs. And that way they span the center of gravity. So I'm going to glue one there and then one here at the back. Okay, make sure that it's aligned with the line. See, I'm just using very little bit of glue because I want it to dry fast. Okay, just like that. Um, and now for the fillet, what we do is we put a little bit on there. I'll do two at a time. And then you take your finger and you run your finger along that edge smooth it out and if, if you see any spots that don't have enough glue um, take a little bit of glue from another fillet and run it back in there and what this does is it um, seals any gaps that were under the fin if your fin is not perfectly level um, and it also streamlines the airflow because it has a little bit of a, a fairing effect to it And then if any is on the tube, I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off so I get a little bit on the tube here. Okay, and then one more. Make sure your launch lugs are perfectly aligned too. You can test that with a launch rod if you want to do that. Okay. So that's how you put the fillets on and the launch lug. Um, my name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light and may the skies be blue and may all your rockets fly straight and true.